Node Stack Layers is a brand new addition to DaVinci Resolve 19. It enables you to manage complex grades within your project. Let me quickly show you how they work. If you're used to jumping between different node graphs, it's the same exact thing. We're just adding more clip node graphs on. If you're not familiar with it, it's perfectly fine. Let me show you how to set up everything. So this is going to be on a project by project basis. So we're gonna come into our project settings. From here, we're gonna to go to general options. In the color area, we're going to see the node stack layers. We can pick anything from one to four. If we were to select anything more than one, we can add in layer labels, as you can see here. Typically, these would be things like primary, secondary, maybe finish add-ons, that sort of thing. Your workflow would kind of dictate what you would add in here, but you do have that as an option. Once we hit save, for those that are used to jumping between different node graphs, we can see that now up here, we have all of the different node graphs under specifically clip. So we have one, two, three, and four. These are process and sequence. So first, uh, the first one, then the second one, third, fourth, and then timeline. If you were unfamiliar with these different graphs, how they work, is let's go into timeline and let's throw a quick vignette in here so I can show you how this works. So you can see I have my vignette in here and now it is applied to all of them because this is within the timeline graph. And the same way would go for the clip that's going to be anything within the clip. So we first have our first node graph if that gets pretty uh, complicated, we can jump over to our second node graph. And just like I was saying before with the labels, you could keep it to specifically whatever that label is, primary, secondary, and so on. For those of you that are used to jumping between graphs, you can still add in groups. So if I was to take these two and let's add in a group, add our new group in, and now we have pre-clip group, post-clip group, and from top to bottom, that's how they are processed in sequence. So that's pretty much how they work. Additionally, there's one other thing that I do wanna show you here. So like, let's say we go into clip four and in clip four, we add in some craziness. If we were to go to any of our others, being in that node stack layer, if we go over to our other clip, we could right click in there and apply active layer and that would pull over whichever one that we're currently in from our target uh, clip. So that is node stack layers. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions, I encourage you to jump over to Post ProList where we're talking about all of the new updates within DaVinci Resolve 19. If you do wanna see how to use a lot of the new tools and features within DaVinci Resolve 19, take a look in the description. I have a playlist jumping around to all of the different things that are in DaVinci Resolve 19 and how they use the new tools and features. But with that being said, my name's Justin Robinson. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next one, guys. See ya.